So, cameras. We love them. I love them. I love my cameras, right? Um, now, one of the big questions is, uh, what camera should I get for live streaming? What camera? What's the best camera for live streaming? Now, I've given options for this in previous videos. I've reviewed the Canon M200. I've reviewed the Sony A5100. I've also shown how to use the Canon M50 as a webcam. However, one thing um, that a lot of people forget is they have a very good camera right in their pockets, especially, especially you iPhone users, you lucky dogs, you lucky things. If you're an iPhone user and you've got an iPhone, um, then this is probably the best camera um, that you can use. As a webcam yes you can use your iphone as a webcam uh, i'm probably a bit late to this party but it, and it works it works really well and um do you know what the best part of it is you don't have to spend hundreds of pounds at most you have to spend a couple of quid a couple of pounds uh to buy the app now compare buying an app with a couple of quid uh, so that you can use your phone as a webcam uh, to actually buying a couple of hundred pound camera which is the better option i would go for the phone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut to the intro and then i'm going to come back and show you how to use your iphone as a webcam for streaming. Let's do this. What's up guys, Kai24 here. And yes, like I said, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use your iPhone as a camera for streaming. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to your app store and download Epoch Cam. Epoch Cam is basically uh, an app that uh, is developed by Elgato. Um, so that you can use your iPhone as a webcam and it is fantastic. Now, I would recommend just spending the little bit extra couple of quid um, to get the pro version of the app, which gives you full features and it also allows you to get the full 1080p um, quality from your phone to use as a webcam. Uh, however, if you just want to try out the free version, I think uh, limits it down to 720 or 540p. Um, however, it is still usable if you just want to kind of test out the waters and see um, how it works, then definitely uh, grab the free version. However, the uh, full version is what I would recommend and that's what I'm gonna show you how to use today. So what you wanna do is you wanna pop up Epoch Cam on your phone and uh, once you've done that, it should show you a getting started screen. Now, um, click begin. Here you can choose which drivers you want. Um, so you're gonna need a PC for this obviously because you're gonna be live streaming. So you're gonna need uh, a laptop so that can be a Mac or a Windows laptop. I'm going to be using a Windows for this uh, for this demonstration. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on your phone screen and you're going to choose the Windows option like I've done here. And it says email me the download link. Click that. It will email you the download link once you put in your email in there. And um, once the download link, download link, once the download link, God's sake, I can't talk. Once the link comes through to your email, go into your email and click the link. And when you click the link, you're going to see here, uh, it's gonna take you to the Elgato landing page where you can choose Epoch Cam and Windows or Mac, depending on which which um, which operating system you're using. And uh, just click Epoch Cam driver, download. Once you've downloaded that, open it up and go through the setup process. It's very, very simple. Follow the instructions on the page as it shows up, set it all up, and then that's it. There is no, there's no app on the computer itself so what you do then is then you go back into your um phone and then just click next and it's asking you that you can connect via usb or wi-fi now if you're going to connect via usb apparently you need itunes so i downloaded itunes um just in case um however i don't know whether that's true or not uh i haven't tried it without so i downloaded itunes onto the windows um you're probably going to have itunes on your mac anyway um i prefer using a usb connection it's probably the better of the two connections however you can try it over wi-fi i don't know what the latency is like with that um so i'm going to connect my usb up i got it in get connected it, the computer is uh, recognizing that i've got uh, an epoch cam connected via usb click next it asks you to give permissions so give all of your permissions Pretty straightforward. I mean, I'm, I'm walking you through how to install the app, but it, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Click done and you're done. And there you go. Um, here you can see um, on the screen. Hi, hi, hi. Like you can see the camera. You can see my secondary camera, which I use sometimes. I was filming other videos, so I've got that kind of set up there for whatever reason. But yeah, uh, here you can see my camera uh, and you can see me waving in the mirror there. That mirror is dirty. Ugh. Ugh. 
It's a bit, it's a bit dusty. It's very dusty from what I can see. I don't know whether you guys can tell, but I can. It looks very dusty. I need to clean that mirror. Anyway, um, here you can see um, that. So this is in vertical mode. If you turn it uh, horizontal, then uh, the camera itself also turns uh, into horizontal mode. So that's fantastic. And um, you know, you've got all of your options here. Here you can toggle the zoom and the focus. So this is a locked focus with a, a wide angle zoom. So this gives you more of a kind of a wide angle look. Uh, and if you want a more uh, closer look as a kind of a face cam, then you've got that option here. You've got the option to mirror your camera so that, um, you know, uh, you, you know, if, if you want to kind of unmirror or mirror the camera, then that's also quite good. Um, of an option here you can flip the camera so if you want to use a selfie camera instead which is also pretty good it's good quality looks quite good on the screen to me um then you can also use that uh and then uh you've got the option of turning uh your mic on or off so i'm presuming that if you're going to be using this um as a camera in obs or something like that then um it's gonna uh give you the option of using the inbuilt microphone uh for the camera depends it's up to you if you've already got a microphone then you can kind of keep that off and then that just mutes the audio uh within obs or within whatever software um you're putting it into um unmuting it will allow the audio to go through uh you've got the flash uh on as well so if you want a little bit of self-lighting and you want to kind of have it popped up and you want that light on you i don't know how annoying that's going to be uh with a tiny little flash in your eyes but it does give you a little bit more light so um that's a good option so um I don't know, I'll, I'll probably have to see how that looks uh, while I'm editing, but uh, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it, 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 it does something. So you can turn uh, the um, flash off or on. And then if you go to settings, you've got the options of kind of changing how you want that connection to, uh, you know, how you want that connection, whether you want it uh, as a Wi-Fi connection, a USB connection. I don't know what NDI means. What does NDI mean? I, I, I'm not gonna try to press that in the middle of the video. Um, but then you can change your quality from fair to good to best. I've got to set up best because, you know, I wanna see the best quality. Chroma key, I'm not sure what that means. I think it's just the tinge of the video that you're getting. Um, I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure uh, exactly what that means. And then the chroma cutoffs, again, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. You've also got an option for a green screen and that automatically turns it into the selfie camera. And it looks very jagged. I don't know how much use that's gonna be. Um, you know, if you want to green screen uh, your something into your background while you're streaming, then that might be quite useful. Um, however, that does seem like it's a work in progress at best. Um, and there you have it. So um, if you wanna, I'm just gonna pop this up. Let me see if I can find. There you go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pop this up uh, onto a uh, stand, and then I'm gonna show you how um, to kind of add the Epoch cam in OBS. I'll use uh, the selfie camera for now, just because uh, I know that I can see myself in it um, and that's quite handy. Uh, so from the looks of it, it, it looks quite good. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at myself and it, it looks nice and crisp and clear. So if I then go in to OBS and uh, I add a source and then you go to uh, video capture device uh, just create we're just going to call this epoch cam epoch epoch cam i don't know i'm just going to call it epoch cam and then we're gonna we've got our options here you go you've got hd uh, camera which is probably the yep that's the inbuilt camera in my laptop and then you've got the epoch cam uh, camera as well so if i click the epoch cam camera there you go it mirrors it in very very nicely we can put the uh, custom um ooh, don't know if it lets me do that yep it lets you put in a uh, custom uh resolution so i've got the 1080p resolution there and uh, uh well over the highest fps it is 1080p 30 is the highest fps which is as much as you're going to get from any standard webcam oh that's like covering my face in the video there you go i'll put it here or should i just put it right behind the laptop yeah there we go that's better uh that's much better i don't i didn't realize that was happening it is just as good as uh any 1080p uh thing so i'm gonna keep it at automatic device default so let's see how that does there seems to be a little bit of a lag on uh, the screen. Hey guys, 
back. So basically what happened was, um, the issue was with my laptop, the laptop is not powerful enough to uh, run Epoch Cam for some reason. So you need a, a powerful, you know, you need a streaming PC uh, ideally, or something with a, a graphics card would be better. Um, this thing for some reason was just not able to handle it and there was massive amounts of latency and it just obvious just was like playing back the, the footage from the camera like very late. So what I did is I shifted to the Mac and it works perfectly. So I'm gonna show you here on the Mac exactly how to make it work. And basically uh, it's the same as um, you would add any other video source, any other camera. So what you wanna do is you wanna go uh, to your plus button, your add source and click video capture. So we can get this for this um, epoch uh, for the uh, purpose of this video. Uh, press okay and uh, you can then select your device so we can see that if you've downloaded the driver um like i showed you before then epoch cam should show up so the epoch cam here is uh if i just kind of wiggle around so i've got the camera set up here uh quite nicely on a tripod and it's connected via the usb so i've connected it up via the usb and uh it should uh show up here as epoch cam so you click epoch cam and uh, there you go, your feed is all there. So you can see myself, like, it's quite nice. It's quite smooth. It looks very good. Um, and I'm going to change that preset. It's now by default set to 720p. I'm going to put it to uh, 1080 30 and uh, then just going to uh, change that to fit the full screen. And there you go. So now you can see exactly how it looks full screen, guys. So this is me talking directly at the camera. So this is the, the iPhone camera. Now, if I just kind of take it and I uh, it's trust or not trust, okay, I'm gonna trust this. Um, so if I make it wider, there you go. There's the wide angle view of the Epoch camera. You can see that is pretty good. That's pretty wide. Like um, it, it looks a little distorted in my opinion. Um, but you know, I'm still getting the nice wide angle. Um, it's that's very good. That's very very good quality guys um, Like seriously look at that that beats pretty much every single webcam that I've ever tested webcam Not camera webcam. I'm looking. I don't know which way to look. I've got the camera set up here and I've got the thing here You can see the little mic um, uh, Up here. Like, I tapped it as well. So you probably hear that. Um, but yeah, um this is this is very good it's very very good quality and uh looking at it this is probably more than what you need so if i just kind of i don't know whether i'm gonna tap that button again and there you go brings it back to kind of a focused uh more of a focused scene um kind of more close up uh it's it's incredible quality guys this is this is amazing like amazing quality and obviously this is an iphone 12 so I'm using an iPhone 12 for this. The quality on an iPhone 12 looks fantastic, but this will work with any iPhone. Like, and it will probably look good because anything beyond an iPhone 6 has a very good camera, probably a better camera than 99.9% .9 of webcams out there. So you can't go wrong with this. Absolutely cannot go wrong. You're getting all of this for no additional cost. Well, very little additional cost uh, uh, in comparison to buying something and like spending uh, between 50 to 150 to 200 pounds for some cameras or even beyond if you're going to be uh, for some webcams rather and even beyond if you're going to be getting a uh, an actual uh, a mirrorless camera to do this with um now i'm just going to show you the audio so if i do this that will switch over the audio to now you hearing me uh in the uh through the actual epoch cam i don't know how this sounds um uh but in post uh but this is this is what it sounds like directly through the phone so if you don't have a mic this is the kind of quality you're gonna get um hearing yourself or this is the kind of quality you're gonna get for audio through the phone and as you can see there's very little latency um in both audio and video i'm gonna switch back to the normal mic so and now you can hear the kind of clear difference between if you're using a uh, of, of a normal mic and, and the phone. There you have it guys, that is how you would set up your iPhone with the Epochon. Slight hiccup there, mainly my fault. However, um, there's a gist of it. Fantastic quality and um, you know, definitely I have a download, have a play around with it if you guys have an iPhone. Um, I don't know how to do this. I haven't tried this with an Android phone yet, but I'm pretty sure there is a way out there to do this with Android. And I think the developers are getting um, an Android app ready I'm not 100% sure, I have heard rumors. So, um, 
maybe Android users wait for that. Until then, iPhone users have got this fantastic app to be able to use. Um, so yeah, why spend extra on a brand new camera when you can use the phone in your pocket? That's it for today, guys. I am gonna end the video here today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it was useful for all of you streamers who are looking to get a camera and don't know which one to get. Well, you've got one in your pocket, especially if you've got an iPhone. If you guys enjoyed the video, do make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know exactly when I'm coming on. And um, if you guys want to talk more about cameras, uh, streaming, uh, audio, whatever it is, uh, anime, um, then head on over to Twitch. I stream there every Monday at 5 p.m. UK time. Links in the description box below. Until next time, everybody, Kai24, signing out.